so when we do search right we have 683 players but we only are getting 30 players why is this happening even though we have many more players we are doing the empty search and we are only getting 30 out of 683 so if you look at the solar query it only is returning 30 rows because that's the default pagination by solar when we do not specify any it returns only first 30 rows that's the limit so we need to do some pagination by ourselves so we'll write that code in the search block of solar here in the controller player.search in this block we will write our pagination code but before that we need to set some pagination parameters so I'll write a concern uh, for it called as uh, pagination concern so I'll write a pagination module which will have some common functions which will help me set the parameters writing it as concern because I can utilize it in multiple controllers so my module name is pagination and I'll have a few methods sent to it which will help me in uh, achieving pagination in different controllers for solar search. So I have methods such as uh, set pagination params, right? I'm setting a page variable. If the params are blank or zero, I'll set it as one by default, otherwise the parameter sent by form. Uh, limit variable I will if it is if the parameter limit is blank then I'll set it as default limit which is 10 we are specified or I'll set whatever the parameter is by the form again if limit is somehow set as 0 I'll replace it with uh, default limit that is 10 otherwise limit remains as it is and to calculate offset we have a traditional formula page number minus 1 into limit in total pages, I'm also calculating total pages as total count divided by limit. Default value that is 10 if it is 0. Cool. So these are the basic functions I need for pagination. I'm going to include this uh, module, this concern in my player search controller. And I will uh, need to invoke a method set pagination params before my uh, before my search players uh, method right so I'll invoke that set pagination params before my search players post uh, this method right where I post my form cool now I'll write the pagination logic here basically so that is pretty simple uh, all I need to write is searcher dot paginate I need to provide page and limit page number and limit I can't use those uh, class variables so I need to set to simple variables at page and limit equal to at the rate limit. Cool. And now this will work. It's a very simple code. I need to get the total pages. So I'll get the total pages uh, equal to search dot total pages, right? Which solar provides results dot total pages. Sorry. And I'm going to convert, I'm not going to use hits, I will use results directly. We are, I don't want to use hits right now. So I'll go, for that I need to change how I'm printing the results. So I'll remove the stored, and I'll just go back to player.position and player.name. Similarly player.id because I'm directly going to get active record, active record objects, right? So again yeah so simple changes so let's just go and search okay now we have got 10 results instead of 30 so pagination is working but obviously we need to render the entire pagination here and we will we shall be able to paginate right so we need to render our pagination in before our results so there are some ready-made uh, pagination uh, gems like kaminari which is very popular it's a gem or you can use will paginate it's another gem in rails which you can use for pagination uh, you could also go for uh, jquery pagination plugins sometimes they are supported they are using bootstrap which is even more helpful but for the simplicity of this demo i'm going to uh, render my own pagination markup uh, here somewhere and it will be nothing but uh, buttons which will submit the search form i'm going to keep it simple uh, really simple for this demonstration right
So for that I need to write a helper, view helper. So I'll write a view helper and uh, in that I'll create a new helper called as a pagination form or something like that. Write some code like pagination buttons, right? Adjoining buttons, pagination link. So this is a very, uh, very pretty. It looks like a complex code, but it's not. I'm just rendering different uh, aspects of my pagination uh, control, right? So I'm going to render this. I'm going to call this pagination buttons method of my helper, right? Where this will basically uh, render the markup which I'm going to need for my pagination. This source code is available with you so you can have a greater look at it so i'm just going to render that in my form inside my form basically because i want to submit the form cool so yeah so this is pretty much it so let's see uh, how this looks in our search form right so let's go and let's say search so now you can see we have rendered the pagination buttons here, right? Let's click on that. And so if I click on second, I'll get 10 new players, right? If I click on, let's say third, I'll get 10 new players. So I guess the pagination is working. Let me style that pagination a bit. Okay. So it, it is looking really bad. So let's style it a bit and let's see how does it look now uh, okay it has become a bit more you know stylish right yeah you could know which page is active right now cool so what is happening behind the scene is that we are just posting the form with uh, another parameter called as page page equal to 1 page equal to 69 or uh, page equal to 68 we are just posting the form again and again by clicking those pagination buttons and that's all is happening and then that controller logic is taking care of the rendering of new results so this is our pagination code basically right that we wrote now I want to add a conditional search so I'm going to add a new checkbox which says uh, name is active only which is showing only those players who have played for more than 100 minutes in the campaign right so this is a checkbox i have added in my form and uh, somewhere here i'm going to write the condition uh, so only search those players show those players who have played more than 100 minutes so i'll write that condition here so condition looks very simple search with minutes played greater than 100 that is the syntax in solar to apply conditions greater than syntax only if search params actively equal to true so this will be said by our checkbox and have we have we index minutes played uh, field in our player model uh, we don't have we haven't indexed that so let's write a minutes played create a help helper for it so minutes played we are going to get it from player statistic model so self dot player statistic dot minutes played and let's index it so we'll index it as integer we are going to apply the condition right on it right so i guess we need to do the reindexing because you have changed the searchable block so let's quickly do that and yeah so we are done with reindexing let's go back so let, let's print how many minutes each player has played in the search results so Let's just do that very quickly. So let's do the search and we have that. We can see that checkbox now, only those players. So let's check it and again hit the search button. Okay, so now we can see a different set of results, right? So we can only see players who have played more than 100 minutes. Again, why are we getting 10 players found? So I guess I need to change something in my results. Yeah, yeah, here, okay. So I, I should rather print total, the variable which we have set in the controller, right? Let's check it out. Let's do the empty search with the condition on. So yeah, we are getting the 467. And without that condition, we are getting 683. Okay. So condition is working. We can also do pagination on that, obviously. 
Now, what if I want to sort these players on the number of minutes that they have played? Like the people who have played more number of minutes should come on top and something like that. I want to do sorting. So how do I do that? So I'll, I'll add some markup in my form again. I have added some radio buttons. Uh, the name of this radio button is uh, sort by basically and the value is sort by is the name of the radio button. It's a group of radio buttons. And then I have another group for sort direction, right? And two radio buttons, one for ascending and one for descending, right? And uh, let's see. Let's let's just reload the page and we can see these two radio button groups, right? One for order and one for sort field. So let's go back and in our player model because we want to sort on name, so we need to index it as string. Although it is indexed for full text, we also need to index it for string in order to sort the results based on name. So we'll re-index the data quickly. Write the logic for sorting in our controller. So we'll go to controller and it's, it's fairly simple logic to be honest. And before that, I guess I need to, so here I'll write the sorting logic. Cool. So it's pretty simple, searcher.order by, we have to pass the field name and uh, this order that is ascending or descending. Cool. I need to set these params basically. Uh, so I just need to write a helper again in my controller. So let's say set sorting params, something like that. And it should be invoked before the search players um, method action basically, right? So let me quickly write that. Uh, search set sorting params basically. So I, I'll just set the default values in case we do not provide any. So I'm gonna set it to name and uh, ascending order in case we do not provide any. Fine. So that's all I needed to do. Let's just go back uh, and search. So by default it is searched by name in ascending order. So you can see the results are in ascending order of name. Cool. Let's try minutes played with descending and hit the search button. Yeah, you could see that now we have got the results sorted descending order of minutes played, right? Cool. So we did the sorting. So last few results are like zero minutes played. 